Hello, myself Madhushri, who is a part of uh, Bimbu Development B, currently working on BWLC, uh, which is Virtual Wireless LAN Controller. Here I'm going to present the basic installation of BWLC on a VMware. Uh, to begin with, Virtual Controller, uh, which is a software which you can deploy on any of the dedicated, doesn't come with a dedicated hardware, so you can deploy it on the hardware uh, called UCS or IBM or the hardware with your end. Here I'm going to show a few steps out, installing a virtual controller on a hardware. The hardware either it could be UCS or 7500 or the one which you have at your end. To begin with, virtual controller is a software based which, which can be uh, deployed on hardware. We need essentially we need three things. One is VCA client, which is a standalone client, and the, the next one is ESX, ESX or USXI, which is a hypervisor, and the next is a BWLC software. So once you have your VMware installed on your hardware, the next step is having a machine where you have your vSphere client already installed. So once you do that, as you, as you all see here, this is my vSphere client. And now I'm going to show the few basic steps before you deploy an OVA there. So when you come here in the configuration part, once you are done with vSphere client installation and you have your VMware installed on your hardware, once you try using a vSphere client, you would access the, the VMware. This is the basic part what you what you get to see. It comes with two mix. As of now, I'm using an IBM server which has two mix. In case if you go for UCS that has four mix or it could be anything, it depends on your hardware. I have uh, two mix. Before I go for an OV, OVA uh, installation, I'll have to add one more mix. So you go here, add networking, and then in the next step is like, okay, one is already selected at least with zero. So we create one more VMIC one that's already, already been selected. And then this has to be trunk. So you select this one. And then go next. Finish. Yeah. Here you have two mix. So basically one, you can tell it as like one for the data and one for the service port. Once you add the research, go with the research zero properties and then set the promiscuous mode to accept. And then when you come here, the next step is to deploy an OVA. So this is a machine where I've already downloaded my uh, BWC OVA, and this is a CCO image. This is the first step. Yeah, this would show like the partition of the hard disk and other um, like what what is the size of an OVA file. Step is like you can name it. Uh, for example, I would name it as BWC Xdisk. You, you can uh, choose either of uh, either of the partition in the data so we could pick uh, lazy zero, eager zero or thin provision. So I would prefer thin provision. This the deployment of OVA on your hardware. So this virtual controller is already this shows the installation. The configuration part is the next part. How to make it work and how do we configure it. So this completes the deployment of OVA.